everybody. This is Bank on Action. This is Hollis J from Myriads of Thought. Did and I'm surrounded by... Shut up. And I'm surrounded... <laughs> or sorry, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's more of our language <laughs> right there, I'm surrounded by uh, men that I have never met. And uh, Taylor and I have just found out that we have absolutely nothing in common. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, go ahead and take it off, guys. All right. So, yeah, Bank on Action's here and. Hollis, thank you for coming to the show. We've been chatting a little bit, talking about different things on the podcast and things like that. Um, so, did you watch wrestling this week? I did watch wrestling this oh, week. Oh, wow. I did. So, did I, anything I stand out to you? Andre the Giant, and, and I don't like the stories. I don't like the stories. You I like the wrestling. You saw Andre the Giant? Yes, I did. That guy died like 20 years ago. I don't care. No, but <laughs> she, <laughs> watched, she, she did the throwback. Oh, she did, oh, she did a throwback match. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Well, that... That counts. Yeah, I did watch it. I don't like the storylines, though. I like the wrestling, but not the actual storylines. I think the storylines are stupid. <laughs> Maybe you should write them. You're a writer. <laughs> yeah. Maybe tell, I tell should. Us a little bit. Maybe who writes Yeah, tell us a little bit about what you write. Uh, right now, I'm basically focusing on horror and poetry, uh, but mostly on uh, horror not, novels. Not, not horror. Not she horror. She said horror. Horror. Oh. <laughs> not W-H-O-R-E. She got my H-O-R-R-O-R. attention right there. H-O-R-R-O-R. Sick pervert. She got my attention. She got my attention right there. With when she said whore. <laughs> Knew that one, anyways. So, um, actually today I've had two books published last year. Um, I've had two short stories published and uh, I just finished up getting both of my master's degrees. Yes, I two have master's two degrees. master's degrees. Congratulations. She just went and got a doctor in. <laughs> no, can't do that yet. I'm gonna go for my uh, I'm actually thinking about going for my doctorate at the University of Bath in London. So I'm thinking about doing that. Hi. Anyways, um, actually today I'm finding out if I get my new novel published or not. So wow. we'll see. Well, we're, we're pulling for you. Thank you. So, Taylor, I know you watched wrestling this week. I did. So tell me, face, heel, match, woman of the week. Let's, let's start with your face of the week. My face of the week. Um, That's a good guy. Yeah, that's, that's good guy. Face means good, heel means bad. Okay. Woman, we really don't care about, but it, you know, I oh. got one this week. <laughs> I see how it match, is. Okay. We, yeah. So we do a segment. It's called Face, Heel, Woman, Match, and Throwback of the Week. Mm-hmm. And, uh, man, uh, this week I had a tough time picking a face overall, but um, I liked the way that Petey Williams in TNA um, was in the X Division match. Yes. I, I loved how he came out. The crowd was behind him. That is that's that's a face right there when the crowd's behind you because you're wrestling good i mean pound for pound that guy could probably be the one of the best wrestlers in the world yeah you know, he's just so small it is he that's the unfortunate thing i would never want him to be a world champion you know but before cm punk for sure i would love him to be world champion he has the most most devastating finisher in the business yeah, it's just a matter of who can he do all that to. Exactly. He couldn't do it to Big Show. He couldn't do it to Ryback or anybody no, else. So, exactly. But I see what you're saying. So, yeah, but that's my face of the week. What about yours, Mass Boxer? Well, my face of the week uh, came from WWE, and I went with Kofi Kingston. I New really liked him. Champion. Uh, or that that he, match yeah, against he, Cesaro. United States champion. United States champion. Oh, my gosh. So it, it, it was cool that uh, he got it. I, I want a character change really bad for that guy. But... Character change. Character change. Yeah, he's character still the change. same. Explain uh, character change. He's still the same. I know. Yeah, it basically, uh, it's not real. Yeah. yeah. Storylines. Story so, line. like, he, he's, so a a ju- story he's a line. he's a he's a guy that's in a Jamaican um, gimmick, yeah. and he's and then from he's South Africa. From Ghana, West Africa, yeah. but he's probably yeah. actually from, like, Detroit they or something. They need better storylines because the storylines suck. Yeah. So yeah, it's unfortunate. Did you have a favorite good guy this week? Did I have a favorite good guy? Yeah. My favorite good guy w- is real, and I actually see him on a daily basis. So Buddha? No. Shut up. <laughs> and I'm Buddha. So you, and I told you I don't worship Buddha. Okay. Um, is is uh, my best friend of 13 years, Corey. And that's my best guy this week. Okay. That doesn't count, but yeah. yes, it my, does. Uh, my bad uh. guy of the week. Face <laughs> um, and heel. My heel. I, I'm just going to go with the shield. They tend to bring it, and I... I can't wait to see what they do against uh, Undertaker, Kane, and Daniel Bryan. I think that's going to turn into a really good match. I think it would be, too. Um, my, my, my heel bounces right off that, right back. Um, that was heel turn for me this week, right there. Left Cena laying in the ring, attacked Cena the week before. I mean, couldn't get more more heelish than that, and he goes, change is coming. 
you know, right back 22 on Twitter. Change is coming. Did you did you hear him heal about seeing his wife? Yeah. That yeah, was, was amazing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't believe that he brought seeing his ex-wife into the into the mix and he totally healed on that. Twitter has since deleted his uh his, his comments, his comments yeah. but yeah, so it was pretty bad. So um I like Ryback, you know, now mm-hmm. I like him as a heel now too, so I think it's better for him. It is. Woman of the week. Oh, Mickey James, because she won the number one contendership in TNA Mind for the women's title. Yeah, you know, I don't really care about the women. You know, they. I just hit him. Shit. Uh, I mean, it's not anything crazy. Just women wrestling has not appealed to us in the past three years, five years yeah. since so Trish Stratus. So you'd rather watch guys throw each other around. Um, yeah. Right now, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. oiled up guys and oiled tights. up guys and tights. Guys and tights. Yeah. What was that? What was our around. WrestleMania party called at BJ's? Oh man, that was the uh, men in s- half naked, yeah. sweaty hugathon. Yeah, number twenty nine. Yeah, so something like that. By the way, you could catch our uh, our uh, WrestleMania part two up this week. Yeah, drunken WrestleMania. I was on the ginger ale that night. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what your excuse was. <laughs> I know what my excuse was. Wow, I probably so only take quite a few beers. Wait till you hear part three when uh, I start doing my Triple H impersonation. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, what about your match? Match of the week: Kofi Kingston versus Antonio Cesaro. Yeah. I, I thought those guys did it really, did a really great job doing a one-on-one match. And uh, yeah, that's it. You know, I, I picked a match in TNA this week, which is I I, I liked TNA this week. I like TNA a lot. Um, I liked the triple threat for the X Division title. Yeah. I liked Zima Ion. I liked Kenny King. I liked Petey Williams. And the way that they they did that match did not make Petey Williams look weak. Nope. You know, he hit his he hit the finisher and then early too. It, yeah, it, you know, did his thing, and then all of a sudden Kenny King comes and steals the pinfall. You know, like that that doesn't make Petey Williams look weak at nope. all. So I liked that. I liked that finish a lot. Um, it says something that TNA is 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 gearing up for a Petey Williams Kenny King rivalry, and hopefully, you know, I don't like to see that belt skip hands very much, but give it a couple months and um, have Petey take over, and he's going to run your X division for a couple a couple more months. So, well, based on the talent in that division, I would go ahead and skip that belt around a little bit. Really? I would I wouldn't have a problem. You know, it you was know, fine. You put it back it, on Austin Aries. Yeah, I mean, you could you could bounce that thing around a little bit. I mean. Sanjay Dutt's there. Yeah, that, him, you know they're letting all these older guys that that have been in the X Division for a number of years do it, and I and I and I appreciate that for TNA because that's some of the best you know spot wrestling. Yeah. You know that I like spot wrestling. Don't get me wrong. You know as long as there's not a world title involved, you know X Division title, fine. That's that's cool. You know Define it's not spot a, wrestling. Like they do a move and you get a big oh shit like reaction. Like okay. they they hit a lot of finishers really fast. Um, you know, a guy does like a, a, you know what a gainer is? Yeah. Like a gainer off the top rope. That's a spot. Um, or his finishing move, like Andre, you know, choke slam or power, you know, it's, it's, it's re- like one really big move. Yeah. And it's like one really big move after, after another, another, after another, another after another, like maybe a headlock and yeah. crossing okay. the ropes and into a knee. I'm here for the wrestling illiterate community. Yes. We appreciate that. Somebody's got to look. We like explaining yeah, this. We, this is we, kind yeah, of discussion. Yeah, this, is, this is why we I do the show. I figured you guys to talk more. So, so, you know what? Let's take a quick break. Let's hear from somebody from Abnormal, and uh, we'll be right back. Yep. <laughs> 